SmartThings Edge is a new architecture for hub-connected devices that uses device drivers that execute locally on the SmartThings hub. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a SmartThings Edge driver for a Zigbee device, the SmartThings Multisensor. Let's get started. There are a few prerequisites. We will need a GitHub account, a Samsung account, and a supported hub with firmware version of at least 38, and a multi-sensor ready to pair. On our workstation, we will need to have the CLI and the Edge driver plugin for the CLI installed and authorized. You can find the full list of prerequisites and the instructions for installing them in the written guide accompanying this video. Here on my local PC, I've already cloned the driver samples and navigated to that location on my command line. I'm going to open the driver package in my code editor and give you a brief overview of the package structure. We will start with the config.yaml file. Here, we will define the name of our package and the package key. These should be unique to our SmartThings account. The source folder contains the brains of our driver. In the source folder, we will include standard libraries from SmartThings, driver testing libraries, and any additional helper libraries we might need to add features to our driver. The Profiles folder contains the profiles for our device. In the profile, we specify the capabilities and the preferences for our device. We can have multiple device profiles within a single device driver. In the fingerprints.yaml file, we will associate the device to the device profile based on the device's fingerprint. And that is a very basic overview of our driver package. Let's head back over to the command line and run our first command. The first command we are going to run is SmartThings Edge Drivers Package. And we direct that command to the folder containing our driver. If the package command is successful, it will return a driver ID, the name, a package key, and the package driver version. To make that driver available, we need to create a channel. The command to create a channel is SmartThings Edge Channels Create. A channel needs a name, a description, and a URL for the terms of service. If the channel was created successfully, we see an output with the channel ID and other information we supplied. Once our channel is created, we need to enroll our hub into that channel. We run the command SmartThings Edge Channels Enroll. Then we select the channel to enroll the hub into. Then we select the hub we want to enroll. If successful, you will see that the hub ID was enrolled to the channel ID that you selected. Now we can publish our driver to the channel. Use the command SmartThings Edge Drivers Publish. Select the driver to publish a driver to. Select the driver we are publishing to the channel. And if successful, a confirmation will display that the driver was published to the channel. Once we have a published driver, we can install it with the command SmartThings Edge Drivers Install. Select the hub to install the driver. Select the channel to install it from. Now that we have a driver installed, we can run the login command and pair the device. The login command is SmartThings Edge Drivers Logcat. The login command takes an IP address. There are instructions for finding your hub's IP address in the guide accompanying this video. Once we have the login started, we can switch over to the mobile app and pair the device. Go to Add Device, scan by QR code, scan the device's QR code, and then start the setup process. Follow the instructions for pairing the multipurpose sensor. If we have done everything correctly, we can switch back to the logging window and see information in the logs indicating that the device is now communicating to our hub. As long as we don't see any errors, we should be good to go. Now we can go back to the SmartThings app and find the device that we just paired. If all is well, we can interact with the device and see it updating in real time and generating events in the logger. Now, this is just a brief introduction to getting started with SmartThings Edge. There is so much more that we can do. Head on over to our community community.smartthings.com. In the future, we will be sharing more of what is possible with Edge, including custom Z-Wave and LAN integrations.